Leo, what's going on, Leo? It's Deb with the Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope you are doing well. And I hope that this reading finds you safe. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on with Fire Friday for you on this week. Also, I am open for a personal, so if you guys are interested in booking a personal, go ahead and check out the description box. There is information there to help you to schedule a booking with me. All right. Leo, do you feel blocked off right now? Do you feel like you don't have access to something that you would like to have access to? Maybe you feel like you can't you can't see what's going on beyond the clouds, beyond the fog. It could be just that there's a lot of people trying to give you a lot of smoke. Yeah, maybe somebody that you look up to, somebody that you consider a boss, or maybe somebody just knows that you're a boss and they're trying to keep you in the smoke energy so that you won't move forward and keep growing. The aid of onks, you might need to move away from something because it's not going to serve you in the end to continue to keep staying somewhere or playing uh, small. And when you're big, you need to get out of the pond and go into the lake. You need to go into the river. You need to go into the ocean. You know, depending on how big you are, you don't want to keep staying in the fish tank. That's the energy that I'm getting right now. Yeah. See, you got the ten of discs right here. That's legacy abundance that's waiting for you right now. While you're playing small, you'll never get to that. See, I feel like right now you only at the five of discs. That's like struggling, possibly having a hard time paying bills. Yeah, devil energy got you all caught up right now. Could be a Capricorn. It's time to move away from something so that you can free yourself and be the Leo that you meant to be. Yeah, the princess of wands. I don't know if you were attached to this person or if this is you that's not maturing. But it could be that you are with an immature person. Right now, this person could be a Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries themselves. Well, I said Sagittarius temperance card just came out. Yeah. got the ace of wands the king of wands four of cups the queen of wands the temperance princess of this <laughs> and the seven of wands i'm gonna tell you right now this is how I'm feeling. If this this is not a job situation, if this is a situation where you're trying to figure out who's meant to be your actual partner and the person that you're meant to do life with, there's two people that have the same type of qualities, but one is more immature than the other. This princess of wands and this queen of wands. Maybe this one is trying to act like the queen. So they're making you confused on who needs to be a part of this new beginning this excite excitement because you got some type of passion desire and drive that you're pushing forward leo but it's like you're bored you're bored of this princess of wands because you want somebody who's on the same level as you you want your counterpart so i feel like you temperancing yourself out and trying to have self-control i don't think you really want to give much of your energy towards this um this princess of wands you probably just giving them prince of dis energy like you know little stuff because i feel like you really just want to keep your your boundaries up and i feel like you know you need to do that because once you come in contact with your partner it's not gonna be you know friendly you're not gonna be friendly i feel like you know that that's something that you don't want to do give off a of friendly energy to this princess of wands anymore maybe you're gonna be cutting them off or something what's this ace of wands yeah see we got the scribe of scepters the scribe of scepters is like it's the beginning stages of something it's a the idea the new idea 
of you know coming up with coming up with an idea i hope that wasn't too loud for y'all that was bugging me but the ace of wands is what's given from the divine so it's almost like whoever this princess of wands energy is you got a choice what are you gonna do you're gonna you're gonna have something a little small with them or you're gonna have something that's gonna be big that was destined for you with your partner you gotta choose king of wands what's this king of wands energy yeah you're gonna have to pick your empress warrior swords so moot seven of onks the pyramid nun Kepra and Haru you gonna have to speak your truth Leo, you got to speak your truth because that's the only way that you're going to defeat, defeat anything that is an adversary to you. If you want to have something stable, if you want the divine to give you a gift, you're going to have to go within because clearly you're going to have to figure out what it is that's important, what's important to you and what it is that you need to learn so that you can make these right decisions and successfully complete this because something's about to happen and it's about to be quick but you don't want to be stuck in this illusion because you playing with somebody who's supposed to be for you this is the emperor's card so this is the person that's destined to be a part of your empire i don't know which one of these ladies is or women or because i feel like i'm talking to a man and you got a younger woman maybe this woman is younger than this queen or maybe they're just immature. I don't know. What's this four of cups? Gab. Four of cups. If this person, whoever it is, is giving you this energy of feeling bored, not interested, you need to close the cycle out. Simple. Queen of Wands. I feel like the Queen of Wands is going to be the better choice because it's like you're closing out the cycle with this Princess of Wands. What's this Queen of Wands? warrior swords you don't like how this prince this queen of wands talks you feel like this queen of wands got a a very um they're not afraid to speak how they how they feel i'm feeling queen of swords energy off of this even though she didn't show up but you maybe feel like this person gave you low blows and as a low uh, as a leo that messes with your pride so that's one of the reasons why you juggle back and forth or you don't know. You don't know. What's the temperance card? Yeah, this person may be, make you feel like you would get angry quickly. The four of swords, they keep on saying this. It's going to have to take some time for you to figure it out because if neither uh, one of them is destined for you, this queen of wands is the is the destined partner for for you but i feel like they must give you some type of feeling where your mental is not you want to be at peace but you keep going back and forth or you don't feel balanced what's this prince of this or it could be again this princess of wands y'all let me know there it is ten of scarabs so you hold him back from one person because you know that you're you really want to have your empire don't do that because because what's going to happen is you're going to still be off balance that might be why this queen of wands is, is arguing with you or got a smart mouth because the stuff that you're doing is just it's allowing this person to feel like they can talk to you like that because you're not making the right decisions or the right, the right executive choices so they feel like you're playing with them so they don't feel like they got to respect you what's the um what's the seven of wands because i feel like you need to tighten up your uh your boundaries and you need to let go of whoever you need to let go of yeah warrior of scepters do it quickly tighten your boundaries up quit investing in a situation that you don't want to give to in the future and go after what you desire what you wish for and what you really want this nine of unks energy okay so that is what i have for you leo i hope y'all enjoyed it or got something from it if you did
Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Till next time, I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. <laughs>